Okay, so what we very basically got is a variable field socket. A random amplitude deployment. Coming in at a vertical offset. And what you need is a vertical sequencer transponding, analyzing subset relay enter pro system in order to convey the signal back to the equator unit. Beyond that, the circumspect narrative, we've got a velocity rapture of 3 times 4 the modal site, which is taken into account using duplex theorem is an equilateral system, an equilateral system. Okay? Using oscillizer between the field vent of the real core, we can adapt to certain positions using a pi interface anomaly subset grid. Over time, this extrapolation of events will redeem the main line to repeatable clause of issue. Now what you're going to look at, finally, is once you've got the diagram using the composites of the widgets, we can relook at exactly what forms the stereoform curve. Because without taking into account the subset relay nodal features, what you might find is that certain people, certain denizens of a free-range utopian society, might be lost among the stratosphere and extrapolated into a parallax timeline of improper virtues. Thereby, this coagulates and protects and prevents any unnecessary build-up in the capability of the timeline parallel shift unit. Going on further, the interface relay, which is not a composite, is the only solution we have to escaping the vortex system of the integral positioning CPU in the main unit, which was lost until the other day. And that is actually the only vector curve you can get in a potential relay system. So looking at this now, we can say, that's really great. I'm really happy with that. I'm feeling good about life. And I feel I can go on. I'm not afraid. Things aren't as bad as they always seem. And with an interdimensional relay vector curve, we've got all the options we might need to get out of any situation you want using psychological field force. And you can't say fairer than that.